We're here to talk about mental health honestly, because we know one in four people have a mental health issue. And far too often, the subject makes people feel uncomfortable. We're here to change all that. At Seacoast Pathways Clubhouse for Adults with Mental Illness in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, we want to change how people think and talk, or don't talk, about mental health. Join us as we take on stigma and approach mental illness honestly and courageously. This is Seacoast Pathways Clubhouse Live podcast, starting now. Welcome to Clubhouse Live. Um, my name is Gina, and I have a guest. Her name is Taylor, and she's a UNH OT intern at the Clubhouse Seacoast Pathways. And today we're going to talk about work units and how they're important, plus a bonus interview with Joe interviewing Lauren about her card making skills. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Gina. Thanks for having me. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, so, what's important about work units, Taylor? Well, work units are provide the structure in the clubhouse. Right now at Seacoast Pathways, we have the hospitality unit and the business unit. So hospitality is stuff like kitchen, which cooks makes the lunch every day, and reception, who greets all the members and visitors. Then business, you like to be in business. I love business and media and podcasting. <laughs> and so that's more like running the clubhouse, like um, keeping it going each day and advertising and marketing and publicity of the clubhouse yeah kind of like this uh so what have you done in the clubhouse to make it wicked awesome because it's way different than it was when we were at the church so i started working almost exclusively in the kitchen i created roles in the kitchen where at unit meetings everyone signs up for a role and then each role has a checklist of things that they need to do for the day so one role is a supervisor they run the unit meeting and make sure all the tasks get done for the day another role is the major d who takes care of what i like to call the front of house which is making sure there's enough silverware there's plates there is um everyone gives their ticket to be collected so we can see how much money that the clubhouse is bringing in. Uh, And just providing organization so that members don't have to exclusively rely on staff to be able to be independent in the clubhouse. True, because that's part of being at the clubhouse, that everything's voluntary and we work side by side with other members and just function working for the clubhouse and that everybody's equal and everybody's on the same playing field and we just work as a team to work on what the clubhouse needs to be sufficient and we run the place basically. Yeah, no one is ranked higher than anyone else except maybe Anne, she's the director. <laughs> but everyone else here, we, so true. Um, we're all on equal playing fields. We all have the same responsibilities. We all do the same jobs. And the clubhouse is just here to support us in doing that. Which it has, like, I've done so many cool things here, like newsletter writing, uh, podcasting, which this is only the second podcast ever, so this is pretty awesome, and um, just trips to the BHU and different things, like, outside of the clubhouse. So what is the BHU? It's the Behavioral Health Unit in Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Uh, we go to share the word that there's hope outside of, like, the recovery unit and that you can grow and be better after um, treatment and stuff. And we go there to say, after you get out of the BHU, you can come to Seacoast Pathways and find a community and have 
meaning in your life and not just sit at home and be alone. Yeah, loneliness is not a good thing. So, yeah, that's what we do here, and um, and that's what we do. And I hope with this podcast we give hope to people that can't come here. Like, we're just giving hope. There is hope. There's hope. And anything else, Tana? I'm just excited to keep working in the clubhouse. And I'm excited to keep challenging myself to do new things. And that's, that's where we're going next. <laughs> doing new, great. Doing new things. Thanks, Good. Taylor. Hi everybody, this is Joe at the Clubhouse and um, today we're going to be interviewing one of our member colleagues named Lauren. Um, she has a very interesting work order day business that she's operating. It's, uh, it reflects the work a day world which is one of the standards of the Clubhouse. And so how are you doing today Lauren? Hey Joe, thanks for having me. This is really cool, my first podcast, and I'm really well, excited. Yeah, it's always a first time. So, um, so tell us pretty much what your business is about. My business is about photography. Um, I've started just taking pictures of different things, mostly flowers, but now I am expanding into other mm -hmm. um, items. Mm -hmm such as like lighthouses or it's just going to be expanded. So is this kind of a hobby that you started? It was a hobby. I really love taking pictures of family photos and everybody just is really fun. So I decided to make it grow into a job, like you said, a work order day job okay. and take it further. Great. So tell us how the business works. What are you, what are you trying to do with it? How is it operating? Just just tell us a little bit about the business part of it. Well, the business part is actually we are doing it here at the clubhouse. We are trying to sell the photos that I take onto note cards as a fundraiser for Seacoast Pathways Clubhouse. And you can find the information on our website. So you you go around the Seacoast and you take these nice pictures. I've seen some of them. They're really beautiful. In fact, I think I bought one, didn't I? Yes, you did. And yes, thank you I so did. Yeah. We appreciate the donation. Sure. So you take these wonderful pictures and you then make an, a nominal investment yourself to to get them developed and then they're printed on a card. So so when you sell the photos, then is there a process where you have to record the the purchaser and how much money that, you know is spent and do you have to um, let somebody else in the clubhouse know? information how does that yeah work? actually I have a worksheet that explains to me like a log sheet um, mm -hmm. that has the purchaser the amount how many they would like to buy mm -hmm. and what the cost was to print mm -hmm. and figure out what um, <laughs> you're, you're figuring out how much is being Interest. donated to the clubhouse right. and then don't you have to send a thank you letter yeah, we actually um, do it right away. Like yeah. you said about you when you bought one, right? Um, I automatically emailed you back to yep. thank you for your donation. Yep. yep. We are also trying to spread the word around for people to come and buy them, either inside the clubhouse or, like we said again, on the website. Great. So what you're really doing is you're taking something that you really like to do, something you're good at, mm -hmm. and you're bringing that interest to the clubhouse and it has evolved into becoming a fundraiser for the clubhouse. So you've kind of found something that you're good at, and you can do it in a safe environment in the clubhouse where you get support, and people are working with you, mm -hmm. and you're actually learning aspects of a job by having to not only take the photos and get them ready, right. but also going through the whole process of taking orders, recording, accounting, 
all that good stuff, right? Yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's great. It's getting ready to do it outside of the clubhouse, but this is really good practice in here first. Yeah, yeah. So now from a recovery point of view, because the whole point of having a work order day and having members work ready and being able to do certain jobs, how does this make you feel in terms of re your own recovery? My own recovery, it really makes me feel really excited to see um, my work come alive and have others be inspirational to me and what they say about my pictures. And mm -hmm. it makes me grow as a person yeah. and wants me to take it further. So you get really nice feedback. Yes. You get a sense of accomplishment and pride. Yep. And you feel useful. And, and it's very rewarding, too. Yeah. Like, the more I do yeah. it, the more I love going out there and taking more pictures for everyone. Yeah, yeah. And um, this is all, you know, these are all good keys to recovery, right? Very um, soft. You know, you have a reason to be here. You're you're busy. Um, you're being creative. You're getting good feedback. You're and, engaged uh, in what I'm You're doing. engaged. Yeah. All of these things are part of the, the whole work order day concept here. And now, do you have any opportunities to work with others because that whole peer support thing is very important. I actually do. That was a yeah. good question you asked me. Okay. I have a member here who is going to be willing to help me share where his locations are and teach me a little bit more about photography and how to get better at using my camera so we have a better business coming. So stay tuned. Yeah, so that's great. So you have an opportunity to let somebody else help you. Mm -hmm. You're growing and developing and... Um, so here's here's the question that's always a little difficult, but it's always a good, interesting question. What do you think would be the next step for you once this business is in place and you're you're raising money for the clubhouse? What 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 do you think would be the next step? My next step is try to do marketing and get it out there to local not other nonprofit organizations, which okay. I actually have. Today, I actually did start a little bit of mm -hmm. asking people that I know if yeah. they'd be willing to sell some of my stuff at their business to get it out there more. Yeah, so so that even fulfills, uh, I don't know if there's a specific standard about this, but it does fulfill our belief that connecting to the community is a really important thing. Oh, definitely. And it gets you out there, um, mingling with others, maybe... Um, negotiating with people, mm -hmm. um, trying to, you know, do a little business on the outside, yeah, getting definitely. the community aware of who we are, right, and making them aware that promoting they're... Promoting the clubhouse promoting, is definitely another word of mouth. Absolutely. Promoting the clubhouse, advocating through your business. Um, so anybody who's listening, if you want to support Lauren's business and Seacoast Pathways, you can just go right to our website, seacoastpathways.org, and you'll see um, on the menu board, um, you have your own link there, right? Lauren's I Photo so, Business. Yes, yep. so Lauren's Photography Business. Right, so go, go right there and uh, place your order. We'll, um, now, we'll, we'll send them if you want. Or yep, you, we can send them, yeah. or you can actually pick them up here at the clubhouse on Clubhouse Days, which okay. is Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 9.15 to 3 o'clock. Okay. And if you're local, we can also deliver them to mm -hmm. you. Okay. Um, the cost for the photos are $6 for members, $8 for non-members, non excuse me. And if you want them shipped or delivered, it will be $10 for the cost. Okay. And the, the photo that I bought is um, it's titled Happy Sunflower. It's a beautiful picture of a sunflower. I happen to really like sunflowers. But maybe you could tell people, what are some of the other subjects of your photographs? Well, that's a good question. We just mm -hmm. added some to the website, so you can actually go to our website and look at them. Mm -hmm. We just did photos for the Nubble Lighthouse. Mm -hmm. um, and again, there's some more flower pictures on the website as well. Okay. So, and will you be doing winter scenes? Soon, I actually or? will be doing winter scenes okay. and fall scenes. Um, and Great. if you guys have any... Mm -hmm. Other ideas, what you want me to take pictures of, please let me know. Okay. It would be great. Lauren, thank you so much for your first podcast. Thanks, Joe. It was and fun. It Hope was to very, do it again. Yep, and it's very interesting, and good luck with your, uh, with your business. Thank you so much, and have a great day. Yep, you too. Bye-bye.
Swing back on. There's a place I know. It's just down the street. You can always smile, smile. There's something good. You're listening to one of our music wellness activities led by Jenna McDonald, an instructor at Portsmouth Music and Arts Center. Here's Lauren interviewing Jenna about the role of music in the clubhouse. Hey, this is Lauren filling in for Gina. Hey, Gina, my girl. This is Clubhouse Live Music Edition with Jenna. Hey, Jenna, how are you today? I'm good, Lauren. Thanks for having me. Thanks for being my guest. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind, and let's get going. Okay. What do you like about music wellness? I like the fact that everybody is wired for music, and if we can use music to increase our ability to be well in the world, to be healthy, to be mentally functioning, I'm really excited to find all the different ways. Awesome. Yeah, definitely we need to find some different ways. What is your role to help members at Seacoast Pathways Clubhouse? So my role here is really not to do music therapy, but just to focus on different wellness aspects of music. So sometimes it's coming in and just singing a song. Like today we sang Summer Breeze by Seals and Croft um, and song. had a little discussion about jasmine and being able to smell the jasmine. Um, but really my role here is to see what is on people's minds and kind of go with the flow. Sometimes I force a little agenda if I'm really interested in something, like yep. Jordan Peterson's 12 Rules for Life, which That's awesome. <laughs> has been fun. <laughs> yeah, totally. Um, but yeah, we just kind of go with the flow, and that's what I like about doing it. That's so cool. Who or what inspires you? Everybody who tries to engage their inner musician inspires me. I could hear a beginner student playing the simplest song and getting wrong notes, but their their enthusiasm for it makes me want to do more music, to go practice. Um, so basically, just people who inspire me are those who are embracing their music child. Very cool, very cool. Thanks. And then can you tell a little bit about the benefit you are working with the clubhouse that's coming up, and can you tell us when the date will be or whatever Ooh, i'm not sure of the date <laughs> <laughs> awesome I just stay know, tuned folks for the date <laughs> i just know i'll be available <laughs> and um i'm so excited because i play in a band a 15 piece rock band has a seven piece horn section i play saxophone oh in it so awesome yeah we've got three singers we've got two guitars a bass two different drummers and um I am actually going to be arranging a song that the Clubhouse members and I wrote a couple of years ago about the Clubhouse um, for the band to play, and we're going to have members of the Clubhouse perform it with us, and I'm so excited for this. This will be my first time arranging something for my group. Well, we so appreciate all the time you do for us and everything, and thank you again for joining us today. We appreciate it. Hopefully, like We'll look forward to this benefit coming up, I guess. Well, thank you. I look forward to it, too. All Can't right. wait to find out the date. <laughs> Me, too. Stay tuned, folks. Thanks. This is Jenna and Lauren signing out. Bye. We'd love to hear from you. Our email address is seacoastpathways at gmail.com. You can leave a comment if you're listening to our podcast on iTunes, Podbean, or Spotify. Our web address is www.seacoastpathways.org. Thanks for listening, and we hope to hear from you soon. You're as charming as a new Mr. Grimm.